Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for a quick video about shrinkage. So this follows on from my series um, about the, my Triaros armoured conveyor, where I had a problem uh, with the hull size. Uh, and basically one of the parts was out of size of the rest of the kit. And then I, I went on and talked about how there's three stages of mould production. Um, before we get from the master model, the original model, through to a production mold at Forgeworld. Uh, and one of the things that was in the back of my mind was, well, how much shrinkage occurs at each stage? Um, you know, can I demonstrate how significant that is? Because, um, you, know, you know, my point is if Forgeworld don't make things in sequence uh, using the, the, the various steps in their production molds, uh, parts are gonna be mismatched in size. And I've seen this in a number of kits. I was just uh, doing a bit of work on some models and I came across uh, this guy. So this is a Titan Tech Pre. So this is quite an old model. This is actually a really old forge old model, this one. Um, and it's probably one of the earlier figures I actually sculpted. It's very nice. Um, he's not got his machinator array attached at the moment. Um, and then this model was uh, repurposed as Caleb Decima in the uh, Istvan 3 book in the Mechanicum list. But interestingly, uh, this model was made uh, on a on a, and cast with its own base. Now, so my assumption here is this was made, th this base is a 25 millimeter base. So this actually gives us a, an interesting link to the original size and how much shrinkage has occurred. And if we take, you know, here we have one of the battle brothers of the Iron Hands. If we take, and that's got standard GW production plastic base, uh, there you go, GW. If we take that and put the two against one another, we can see there is a size differential. So my thought is we can, we can measure the size difference between these two and work out what the percentage loss is. And then we can apply that across a three stage process and work out what percentage shrinkage occurs at each stage. And therefore have an idea of if if a part is made out of sequence in that, se in that production process, what is the actual impact on the end size of a part? What should we do? Well, should we do a little bit of drawing? We don't normally do drawing on uh, this channel. It's normally modeling or what have you. So I'm just uh, keeping this nice and simple with a little prop. Uh, I'm just gonna draw around the base. like so. And then we're gonna do the same for the standard plastic base. Yeah, again, let's put that one here. This guy was on my work, work table because his bionic arm had broken, so I, uh, I pinned that back together yesterday evening. Very nice these Mark III Iron Hands Marines, but the wrists are quite fragile. So there we go. Right, you can go there. You can go there on that side. You can go there on that side. There you go. Right, so we've got, what should we call this guy? We'll call this Titan Tech Priest, and we'll just call that Space Marine. Right, so two circles around it. So if I measure the size of these, now I have to account for the fact that I've, drew, I've drawn around the base, so um, the this circle is slightly larger than the actual base. So here we have a standard ruler uh, and we're measuring in metric. It's a steel ruler so it should be reasonably accurate. So if I go across there, so that's yeah, so edge to edge, that's slightly, just a touch over 25 millimeters. And that's what we'd expect, because as I say, I'd drawn around the base. So we just need to knock a, a little touch off. This isn't entirely precise. I mean, ideally, if I had it, I would use a set of measuring calipers to do this. Um, however, uh, this is just an approximation. And perhaps if this leads to an interesting conclusion, I might get hold of a cheap set for, for a more detailed view. So, right, so that is, what 23 and a half if I knock a little bit down it's about 23 and a half millimeters just compare it here or maybe I'm gonna call it 23 and a quarter 
So, oops, wrong pencil there. That's one of the Cheeselet's colorful pencils. Uh, so diameter, let's call it 23.25 millimeters. And this is 25 millimeters. Right, so what we could do now is have a little bit of basic maths is we can work out what the what the percentage loss uh, uh, is. Right, so that is the size loss uh, is six percent. So this is six percent smaller than that. Yeah. Right, so let's grab another sheet of paper. So we said, so uh, master to production uh, equals 6% loss. So we've got a three, so there's three stages uh, in the mold product, in production mold creation. And that's uh, master to submaster production excuse my handwriting these um sharpies are not the easiest thing to write with particularly joined up right so you've got three stages so let's assume a linear loss in size for each stage so very simple maths so we'll take our six percent and divide it by three so therefore um each stage loses 2% of part size. So there you go. Very, very simply, and you know, obviously with the assumption that that model was originally made on a 25 mil base, which I believe it is, and it certainly looks that way. Uh, each stage of the production process, we lose 2% of the part size. So what that means is if, um, if a mold if a part is cast off a submaster as opposed to a production mold, that part will be 2% larger than the production parts or the parts from the production molds. If, um, and you know, as I know and suspect happens sometimes, a new mold is cast from a production part, then that means that the, sub, the subsequent sub-production part is going to be 2% smaller um, than the production parts itself. Um, so 2%, well, it doesn't sound like a lot, but then again, if you, you know, if we imagine some of the larger resin components, you know, say the side of um, perhaps the mastodon, which might be 20, 20 centimeters long, uh, I think they're actually longer. Uh, let's, I don't know, but let's just take a part, a large part as being 20 centimeters long. A 2% loss there um, is not insignificant and you're going to have a part that's clearly out of size to the um, uh, to the rest of the kit. So yes, an interesting little um, interesting little thought there. And uh, our our friend here, the Titan Tech Priest, tells us an interesting story about um, what's what's going on in that production process. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.